Okay, number 21 is a business problem right here. We've got a restaurant with a seating area that can hold up to 25 tables, four people per table. So kind of their normal default setting here, they're telling you, is that they put out 15 tables and they average $25 per meal. So just real quick, you don't really need to write this out, but just on kind of a, of a normal night right here, if we were to think about what's going on, they've got 15 tables that they're putting out right there. And then it sounds like they have four people per table and they charge $25 per meal. So if we were to multiply the 15 tables times four people per table times $25 per meal right there, well that four times 25 means $100 they're gonna make per table and at 15 of them, sounds like they're gonna make 1500 bucks on a quote unquote normal night. Now, what they're debating about doing is putting out more tables, but they tell us right here that if they put out more tables, they're gonna have to charge less for each meal. Maybe people feel like the ambiance isn't quite as nice at that restaurant. So that's what we're trying to do here, guys. We're gonna try to let X equal the number right here of additional tables that we are gonna put out on this particular evening. And let's see what we can do right here to maximize our profit as a restaurant here. So we need a profit function. By the way, I don't think we need a second variable here at all. So I'm just gonna go right to step two. We are trying to maximize the profit that we're gonna make in this particular night. So I need a profit function as a function of X. So how are we gonna do that? Well. To figure out our quote unquote normal profit, we started with the number of tables, right? So I'm still going to try to come up with an expression for that, the number of tables, okay? And then we're going to multiply that now by, and what I was doing with the 4 times 25 is trying to figure out the profit that we're going to make per table. There you go. So this is the general formula here for how to figure out our profit in a business. How many things are you selling, or in this case, how many tables do we have, times how much money are we going to make per. So let's see what we can do here. P of X equals. So the number of tables on a normal night was 15, but we're talking about adding additional tables to that. So 15 plus X is going to be the number of tables that we end up setting up in our dining room that night. And then we're going to multiply that now by the amount of money that we're going to make per table. Well, for every dinner, we normally charge $25, but for every table we add, which is X, we have to drop a dollar off the price. So the price per meal is going to be $25 minus whatever X is. But wait a minute now, there's four tables, which means four meals, uh, or four people per table, I should say. So that quantity needs to get multiplied by four. So I kind of have parentheses within my parentheses right there. But that should do it for us, guys. Now, I think I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to make this a 15 plus X times. Let's distribute that 4 now to get a 100 minus 4X. And I think this one wouldn't be too bad to foil out, which will make it easier to differentiate on the next step. So 15 times 100 is 1500. Outer product is a minus 60X. Inner product is is a plus 100x. That's going to be a plus 40x. And then your last product, x times a minus 4x, is going to be a minus 4x squared. Okay, so that's our profit equation right there based on the normal parameters of an evening for us. And then x, the number of additional tables that we're going to set up. So let's now go ahead and take the derivative of that profit function. That is going to be a 40 minus 8x. We're going to set that equal to 0. Oh, and this isn't bad at all. We're going to get 8x equals 40, and x is equal to 5. So, what do they ask us to find right here? Assuming all the tables are full, what number of tables will maximize their profit? So to answer the question here on step four, the number of tables on a normal night was equal to 15, and X is the number of additional tables. So we're going to add five more tables to our normal 15 and get 20 tables now, and that should be the amount that maximizes our profit. 
So if we wanted to check that real quick, by the way, I'm done. That should be the answer. But let's check this real quick, guys. Profit, if we were to put out five additional tables, let's see what that would do. And I'd probably put that into this expression right over here. 15 plus 5 means we're going to put out 20 tables that night. And then 100 minus 4 times 5. That means that we're going to make $80 per table uh, on selling our meals right there. And here we end up with a profit on that night of $1,600, which clearly is more than the $1,500 that we would make on a normal night. But if I really wanted to check this, I'd probably see, wait a minute, is it possible to go too far? What if I put out six additional tables? Now, when I put six into this function, I now should get an amount now that's smaller than $1,600. Let's find out. 15 plus six means now that we're going to make 21 or put 21 tables out there. But let's see, 100 minus four times six, uh, 100 minus 24 is $76 that we're making on the evening right there. And 21 times 76 Let's see what that gets us right there. $1,596. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So five extra tables gets us this nice high profit of $1,600, but putting in six brought that profit margin down. I think it would be reasonable to assume then that putting in seven or eight or nine additional tables would lower the profit even further. And I guess if I want to be thorough, I could probably also check P of four, which is a little bit less than five. Let's see what that does for us. That means that we're going to have 19 tables out there on the floor, but we're going to make 100 minus 16. We're going to make $84 per table. And what does 19 times 84 do for us? Let's find out. 19 times 84, again, 1596. So obviously less than the $1,600 profit that we think we found for our maximum. So again, the question was asking what number of tables will maximize their profit? 20 tables is the answer we were looking for here for problem number 21.